Now, it may look silly to you, but believe it or not, these little details sometimes are the difference between the bass biting and not biting. <laughs> I think it's pretty cool. Y'all think she wanted it? <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> she wanted it. So here's an easy muddy water bass fishing bait tip that's going to help you catch more fish using one of these. Now, I didn't come up with this idea. I don't want you to think I'm the genius. It wasn't me. It was Dion Hibden. Uh, I was watching his interview on the Tin Horse Monty YouTube channel. If you're interested in learning from the best, three generations of pro fishermen, I highly recommend you go watch that uh, video. And I'll put it in the uh, description below so you guys can go check it out. So I had ordered some spike it markers from Academy, but they're on back order. Uh, just like everything else right now. Back order. <laughs> but I got these for my birthday. <laughs> Now you don't have to go get every color in a rainbow, you just need a few basic primary colors to do your modifications. Now I know some of my regular guys, they're like, Dallas, you fish the clearest water I've ever seen. Why in the world are you making a muddy water fishing video? Well, because at least once a year, this lake gets muddy. Muddy, muddy, muddy. Especially in the spring. In the spring rains, visibility goes down to about 12 inches. Now this spring I've been going out and I've been hiking around and uh, fishing new places. And the other day I went to a new cove I had been eyeballing for a while. And uh, it was horrible. It was horrible, horrible. I got skunked. I don't even want to even like talk about that day. But uh, there was stain in the water. It wasn't 12 inch visibility yet, but it was still pretty stained. I tried using black crawdads and it seemed like it wasn't stained enough for black. But it was too stained for green pumpkin. Uh, I don't even think I got a bite the whole day. It was horrible. So I went back home, cried a beer, cried a beer, put a tear in my beer, <laughs> thought about it, and I remember Dion Hibden and his marker tricks. Now what we have over here is called a Ozark, uh, long, I don't know if it's Ozark, it's a long pincher crawfish. Uh, basically they have uh, blue claws. Uh, I think they're only in the uh, White River Basin. I don't think they exist anywhere else. So I'm using blue marker. Depending on the water clarity is going to designate how much I put on my crawfish claw. So I'm just kind of outlining the, the pincher. And you don't have to be an artist. Nothing in nature is uh, perfect, right? So it's okay if you get outside the lines in this case. So this is what I did, and what happens is when you pull the crawfish through, these tails are kicking, and since they're a dark color, they're a lot easier for the bass to see. So they may not see the crawfish, they might see the movement of the crawfish, they might not see the crawfish, but they will definitely see those paddles kicking. And uh, man, I sure tore up some bass with this. Now you can do this to any of your baits. I started recently doing this to my paddle tails. I mean... The bass, they may have seen that same color 20 times because everybody's throwing it, but they haven't seen it with a green tail. Some eyeballs. Some red gills. So basically you're giving that bass a different look. And he might not bite theirs, but he sure is that going to bite yours. <laughs> I went to another area yesterday with my little green pumpkin crawfish and my blue sharpie. Uh, it's a pretty neat place. It's an old uh, old homestead from uh, the early settlers, like 1800s and whatnot. And there's a bunch of old buildings that are, nobody's in them anymore. They're not occupied. But it's still a pretty cool place. It was about two miles from here. It was a hell of a walk. Um, I ended up getting there very at the end of the day because I was stopping, you know, like a kid in a candy store, like, ooh, <laughs> a little cast over here, and ooh, a little cast over there. So I got there about sundown and finished the fish a little bit, but uh, still throughout the whole day, I caught some nice fish. I got one to bite. Ooh, 
feisty? Hey, calm down, my friend. <laughs> my goodness. My goodness. Oof. Goodness gracious. He just came in from the deep of Galpelius. There we go. Galpelius. He's feisty. <laughs> Too short, though. There was a dump. Oh, you're feisty. Some places you just can't pass up. This looks good. I might get stuck. We'll see. Oh, I got bit. That was a nice bite. Ooh. Oh, that was a freaking bite. Freaking not slacking the line. Let's see if we can get him to bite again. He said, boom. Oh, I said that. <laughs> He's gone now. Oh man. I thought that was him. Freaking rock. They say hook sets are free, but they really ain't. <laughs> Three times a charm. But not big enough to measure, but I'm happy for it. <laughs> big old fat mama. She's in that deep water. There you go, mama. Oh, there we go. Oh, shit. Oh, oh. You just slung yourself up on the bank, man. I'm gonna get a hold of ya. Woo! <laughs> Let me get a hanger. Oh, man, I'm totally sick. Let me just get a hold of ya, buddy. Goodness. Feisty largemouth, y'all. <laughs> you big turd. It's not like I'm going to eat you. Oh, he was not happy. That's a good one. That might be a small mouth. Pretty small now. Hey, yeah, buddy. Ooh, don't go in the water. Squirming. Hey, hey, hey. Quit your squirming. It's a mini large mill. <laughs> Just 
just got the tips painted. It's murky, but it's not that bad. Check that out, it's an old spring. I guess that's by the old homesteads here. All these rocks are an old homestead. And uh, here's their water source. You know, because you gotta recall, back then, oh, the creek is way over there, but this wasn't here. This is all flooded. That's pretty neat. Like shallow. That looks like a some kind of little cat. Well, oh, there's some big cougar prints. Like right there. Cougar. Oh, I can't see that. Right there. Oh! Gonna get you. Oh, that was him. Ah. I thought it was on a rock. Yeah, I got it. Oh, sha! <laughs> oh, shit. Damn. Yeah, that was him. I had him. Well, oh, clean cut. Baby. Y'all yeah, yeah. think she wanted it? <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> she wanted it. Oh, you got it in the tongue. Oh man, I didn't get that. Oh y'all, that was a huge freaking largemouth. Oh. Well, I got a picture of it, so here's a picture. Dad gum, man. I had to throw my rod in the water and everything. <laughs> y'all missed it. I was reeling them in and the line broke like right here and he landed on the rocks right there. So I threw my rod into the water over here, well, an accident of course, and then grabbed him and then got my rod. Anyway, it was a total circus. It's unfortunate you guys didn't get to see that. Oh, it's a long walk home.